All right, guys, welcome back to the channel again. GQ Autodiagnostics or Repair, where my job is to save you money. Uh, in this video, we'll like to show you or bring you along how to replace a transmission mount on a 2013 Dodge Dart with a 2.4 automatic transmission from wheel drive. This vehicle has a six speed automatic transmission, which make the engine mounts a little bit more special. So you either get an uh, from the dealership or you are gonna have to get them online because the regular here on the store at this moment when I'm filming this video uh, they don't carry this uh, engine mounts and transmission mounts for this vehicle so okay so what we're gonna do here first of all as you see I'm gonna uh, remove the, the air box uh, air filter box I'm gonna remove it from here right here and we are going to lift this uh, pull it out our filters is new it's going to be a 10 millimeter right here to remove this area here so let's remove it so give ourselves a little bit more space here is a, is a little bit of plastic retainer we can just remove I think here just this thing goes up now it's under pressure here I believe Wiggle it, yeah, it comes out. Just a little bush in here, you have to just pull straight out there, too, actually. And right here, we have an expose or transmission mount right there. So, to do this, we need to actually support the transmission because we got to take the weight out of the mount. Uh, on the previous video or on if you already saw the the first video you uh, replaced the power the passenger side mount it was very collapsed and deteriorated which is increasing a lot of the uh, of the vibration inside the vehicle so they make it very very uh, unpleasant for the customer give me one second supporting the transmission pan and uh, let's see what we got here okay, 15 millimeter 13 and 18 so let's get to it one two oh I have to lift it a little bit more that's it right there okay Got this out of the way. This two goes here. This three goes here. And 13 millimeter. I can't believe they're 13. Or, let's see, 14 millimeter, I guess. Oh, what's happening here? 
grab in the room. What's going on? Huh. Let's see. Give me a second. Oh, never mind. It's one more here on the bottom. I don't have to take this to this uh, part of the engine now, so the transmission now. Let's see what size this uh, see on the bottom. Okay, looks like fifteen. working but my wrench is too it's too long interesting Okay, need a speed wrench. Okay, there it is. Let's see, fifteen millimeter. Now by hand. Yep. Huh. There 
this guys 15 millimeter you yeah, see how collapsed it is too it's touching right there that's a lot of the vibration coming into this engine so here's the other one okay So most I can tie it up by hand. I'm gonna tie this stew here. Now we'll have to line up the transmission mount. use a breaker bar right here between the transmission and the new engine mount to put some pull the transmission forward towards the radiator so I can line them up with okay now I need to go transmission I have to go up a little the other way got the third one perfect okay they all start by hand so now I can officially tie them up without cross threading the thread out of well be in trouble
There you go. Okay. Now it's time to put everything back together. Got to tight at the bottom one and torque everything. So again, if you like this video so far, please uh, give it a thumb up, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and help me out to stay motivated to con continue creating this kind of content for you guys. And hopefully I can help with my videos, help somebody around the world to, to save money and uh, and fix the car but the, you know by themselves and get back on the road and enjoy your car and keep it reliable again as usual do your best forget the rest god bless and i will see you in the next video later